Hello, welcome to Taxonomy Online Mathematics. In this video, we are continuing with our topic bearing, and we are taking distance bearing form of bearing. Now, if you are new, consider subscribing to the channel, like, share, and leave your comment as we get interactive. Now, a distance bearing, we can say that when a bearing is measured in the form a kilometer comma theta degrees where the a is the distance between the two points and the theta is the direction or we can say the measurement of the angle we know bearing is a measurement of an angle so the measurement of an angle between the two points measured in clockwise direction so if we have the point So if the distance between the point A and B is given as 8 kilometers and the bearing of A from B is also given as well, 75 degrees, then the distance bearing form of the, the bearing AB is going to be AB equals to 8 kilometer, then 0, 75 degrees. So this is what... We can represent and i know looking at this it looks so simple for you asking why will it be asked to represent something like this the writing is just to show that the first number is the distance between the two points whilst the second number is the direction between the two points we can represent this information on a diagram as in We are saying that from this point, they said, and the bearing of what? A from where? B. Meaning the origin is now what? B. The origin will be the B because we are looking for the bearing of A from B, from the point, uh, the origin, where we are going to measure from the north side. So our measurement will move until we get what? 75. So this is going to be the point A. And this will be our 75 degree. And this will be our 8 kilometer. So per representation on the diagram, this is what we are going to have. The distance is between A and B, which can be measured. Meaning if I have Boku and I have Accra, the distance between Accra and Boku is given as well. 8 kilometers and the bearing of A from B meaning you go to the north of B you measure for the north of B to meet the distance between the two points will give us 75 so this is what is translated to be this form and this form can be given this form and this can also be translated to this one all right so we are having a ship sails from a port A on a bearing of 135 degrees to port B in a distance of 5 what, kilometers. We are to show this on a diagram, then write the distance bearing of the point A, B. So what we are going to do is that we are to represent this information as in this form where we have our north in here. Now our task is to identify which of the point A and B will be the origin. For you, will the origin be the point A or the point what? B. I believe that to be Point A because Z, the ship is sailing from the port one A. So the origin is going to be our A. Then we are going to go to the north of A, measure from the north until we get what? 135. We know from here to that place will be 90. So I only need 45. 
So if I have the port B here, with this being 135, then the distance being what? 5 kilometers. So we have to write a distance from. So distance of AB is going to be the distance is 5 kilometers. Then the bearing is what? 135 degree. So this is what you do. You can decide to leave 135 and right here, 45 degree is the same thing. So this is basically the distance bearing form. No much calculation. All you need to know is that there is a distance between the two points and there is also a measurement of angle between the two points. I believe this is clear. So this form the basis of what they call back bearing or opposite bearing. So for the back bearing, so if we have, so we are saying that if the bearing of A from what? B. So let me indicate that with this, the bearing of what? Of A from where? From B. B must be the origin. So let's put a B here. If the bearing of A from B is 65, meaning go to the north, measure to get your 65, and put your point A here, indicate your 65 degree. So that is the first statement ending here. If the bearing of A from B is 65, we have to find the back bearing, meaning we are going back to the point A and measure from the north of A in order to get the back bearing. So this is the bearing of A from B. So we need the bearing of B from A, meaning we need to draw another Cartesian plane at the point A. So this is our A. This is the Cartesian plane. Because I need to go to the north of A before I can do the measurement. Because it's a bearing is a measurement from where? The north in clockwise direction. So I am going to measure all the way until I meet the line joining the point A and B. You see that? I measure from the north to reach here 65, which is a line joining the point AB. So when I'm measuring from the north, it must also come back to this place, which you know 90, 90, 180 plus this very angle will give me the bearing of B from A. So we are also going to employ the principles of plane geometry 1. We are aware that this is a straight line, a very long horizontal line. This is also long horizontal line. We know that if this line and this line are not meeting, they become parallel lines. When a transverse is drawn through a parallel line, it produces some type of angles called alternate angles. This angle will alternate to this. And you can see that this is also a long parallel line where this becomes the transverse. Meaning the angle here will be the same as the angle here. Likewise, the angle here will be the same as the angle. Meaning whatever is here, is here as what? Well, 65 degree. So the bearing of B from A is going to be 90 degrees plus 90, I mean 90, 90 plus 65 degree. And that will give us 180, so 245 degrees. The bearing of A from B has been given as what? 65. All we are looking for is to find the back bearing or the opposite bearing moving in the reverse direction. Then I have to go to the north of A and measure that direction. I believe you get the point? Good. So this is also another. If the bearing of P 
from R is given to us 135. We have to find the back bearing of what? Of R from where? P. That's the meaning. The back bearing means the bearing of what? R from where? P. So in this case, if I draw my indicating the north, I know by now you know which of the points are to be in the origin. The bearing of what? P from where? R. Meaning R is the starting point. So I indicate the R to be in the origin. Then I do my measurement for a north of R in order to get 135. We know this is going to be moving from here to here will be 90. So I need extra 45. So that will end me the point P over here indicating 145. But don't forget, I can still put my 45 degree here. We know if I add 45 degree to 90, I will be getting 135. Therefore, the bearing of P from R is 135. I am asked now to find the bearing of R from where? P. Meaning, draw a Cartesian plane also at the point P. Indicate your north. Measure from the north to meet the point. Which earlier we learned that this line is parallel to this. Therefore, 45 being here will be the same here as what? Well, 45 degree. Therefore, the bearing of R from where? P is going to be 190 degrees. This 90 degrees plus this 90 degrees plus our 45 degree. And this will give us 270 plus this, that's 315. 315 will be our bearing of R from P. That's the back bearing. I believe you get a concept. Good. Per all this, we know that the bearing will always not be less than 180. There will be instances whereby the bearing given to you will rather be more than 180 and you will be asked to find the back bearing. That will also be a different approach. By, by diagram, it will be the same. That will be dealt with in the next episode. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. And await the next episode as we deal with the next aspect of back bearing. Thank you for watching.